Terry here. I am going to do a quick video on what sold. I feel like these videos could just give you knowledge in just a short time. Stay toward the end and I will show you items that I picked up. They're all identical and it has to be one of the top profitable items that I have found since I have been reselling. So stay on for that because it's pretty exciting and it's something that you could find when you're outsourcing. Let's get started with this first item. The first item is very heavy. It's a vintage Pioneer stereo receiver. I used to sell these quite often. I haven't been finding them as much lately, but I did pick this one up a few weeks ago at a garage sale. So I paid $10 for that and I sold it for $245 plus shipping. All of my customers pay shipping. I will very rarely do free shipping unless somebody reaches out and asks if they could have a deal, then I may do it every once in a while, but I never list my items as free shipping. I actually picked this up at Goodwill for $6.99. I think I've had it probably for about a year and it sold for $60. It is from 1981. It's in great condition. I rarely go to Goodwill anymore because the prices are just so marked up and they have people that work for them that are sourcing and pulling stuff and selling it online so it's a rarity if i go into goodwill anymore but i did find this i picked up these brand new crocs probably close to a year ago i had them listed kind of high because i know some of these types the um ones with like the leather on top could go for quite a bit so i listed them high and i just kept dropping it and then finally ran a sale on them and they sold for $64.57, which is awesome because I only paid $4 for them. Last summer, I went to a garage sale and this person was selling all of her son's Imagine X. Apparently he was done with it and she had a whole bunch of it. So I lotted things up in, I think I had six or seven different lots I've sold maybe three or four of them and have a few left. They had a lot of people that went with it, but these were extra people. There was a whole bunch of others. And honestly, if I had pieced these out, I probably could have made more money, but I had $7 into each lot and this one sold for 45. I was at an estate sale last weekend and picked up three of these. They are hand blown glass lights and they are old world Christmas. They are from the eighties and I had this listed for maybe a day and somebody bought it for $149. The other two, I think I have one listed for $199 and then the other is listed for $249. So this was an awesome find. I've heard of Old World Christmas, but I didn't know they made lights like this. I know that they make ornaments and that's all I've ever seen. So keep your eyes out for these. They are very valuable. My next item is this kit that I purchased at the Hobby Shop buyout. If you saw my other video, I have about $4.50 into this and it sold for $28. I love selling Barbies. 90s Barbies are just fine to sell. I picked this up a couple weekends ago for $10 and it only sold for $30. That's okay. I bought a whole bunch of them for $10 and some are selling for quite a bit more than that. They are just so easy to list when you have a scam bar and you know exactly what it is and it's in the box new. So don't be afraid to pick them up even though you're going to only make $30 out of 10 Okay, so my next item I'm about to show you, I picked up at a garage sale probably a month and a half ago. I don't think it's been quite two months. Went to this garage sale and they had new items. I didn't know what they were. I tried to look this up and I still couldn't figure it out. I asked her and she actually had to go in the house and ask her husband 
and she said that it could be used to clean a fish tank, but I think it could be used for other things. So it's a portable vacuum. And I bought two of them from her and they were brand new. And they were only $10 each. And I sold the first one about two weeks ago for $175. And then I just sold this one for $175. So I paid $20 for both of them and I sold them both for $350 and I still don't know exactly what they're used for. So do you have anything that you sold that you just don't really even know what it was used for? I have done that so many times. I would like to know, please say in the comments. This is a facial wrinkle removal strips. I don't know. I picked three of these up. They're brand new. I paid a dollar for each one and this one sold for $20. So I was at a sale, oh, about three or four weeks ago and they had nine of these and she was only selling them for a dollar each. So nobody else was grabbing them. I went ahead and grabbed them. They're so easy because you only have to list one. They're new in package and then they just sell. And I could tell school's ready to start because I just sold four of them to four separate people. This is the fourth one that I sold, paid a dollar for each one and I'm selling each one for $20. So I have $9 into it. And by the time I'm done selling them all, I would have made $160. I just picked this up last weekend. I got it listed pretty quickly. It is actually brand new, but somebody had opened it. And of course I disclosed that. Um, honestly, I'm kind of glad because the batteries that were on the side here were all um, leaking. So I was able to take those out it did not affect the remote at all. So I paid $4 for this and I just sold it for $100. I already have this one all packaged up so you can't see it, but I just wanted to show you the size of the box for that many books. This is the second time that I have found this exact same set of books. They are called how, let's see. They are called Just Ask. So just ask about the ocean, just ask about tractors. It just has all of these cute little kids books. I picked this set up for $10 just a couple weekends ago and it already sold for $70. So the rest of the items that I'm gonna show you, I've already shipped out. So I'm just gonna do a screenshot so you can see what they are. So the first one is this plush. I'm a horrible plush finder. I've always tried to find plush. I see other people selling them for big money and it seems like I could never find the right one. When I'm confident at the sale, I think it's the right one and then I bring it home and it's a little bit different and it doesn't sell. So this time I finally nailed it. I picked this one up. It's an Eden Bear. I think it's from the 80s or 90s. I paid a dollar for it and I sold it for $117. So I'm super excited. Now I'm gonna try to find more plush. This Minolta moving camera, I believe is from the late 70s, maybe 80s. It has been sitting in my pile of things to list for well over two years. And I picked it up for $10, got it listed. It sold in a few weeks. It sold for $239, so that was pretty exciting. Have you ever seen these Micropack jackets? They are usually rain jackets and they have the accordion hood. And if you're ever at a thrift store or a sale, you can usually, if you skim down the jackets, you can usually see that identifying mark, it's accordion. And I have had this one also in my pile for well over two years. I finally listed it. I only paid $10 for it and it only took a few weeks to sell after having it listed and it sold for $78.
So last weekend, the same sale that I got the remote from, the Logitech remote, I got this Microsoft keyboard, brand new in package, factory sealed, I only paid $15 for it, and it sold overnight for $200. This Netgear cable modem, don't pass those up. This one was new in box, I only paid $15 for it, and it sold for $70. So keep your eye out for that. A lot of times I'll go to a sale and nobody's getting it and I pick it up and I sell it pretty quick. So when I'm at sales, I know about Hot Wheel Redline vintage cars and I'm always looking for those. And I have found a few, but they just weren't worth much, maybe 10 or $15. I finally found one that was worth some money. I only paid a dollar for it. It's so cool and it sold for $67 within a couple weeks. So the item that I wanted to show you that has been one of my top profitable items since I've resold is a Atlas. I was at an estate sale two weekends ago and I was going through the house. I went into this one room, there were a bunch of arts and crafts in there and I was looking through, I think I grabbed a couple of things and I left, I looked throughout the whole house. I came back maybe 20 minutes later. At this point, I've been in the house for about 45 minutes and I see these big giant books on the desk. So I looked one up and I was shocked with the comp. I saw that one sold for $600, but then another one sold for 250 but still, they had a price tag on them for $5. There were four of them sitting there. So I grabbed all four of those, of course, and then did some more shopping and was walking around the house quite a bit, picked up a few more things, went out to the living room one more time, and that's also where the register was, so I was getting ready to pay. What do I see sitting on the table in the living room? One more of those Atlas. So I picked that one up too. I had the first one listed, for $475, it sold in less than 24 hours. So I listed the next one at $599, it also sold in less than 24 hours. So then I got another one listed, my third one, and I had it listed for $599, but in my store, if you buy two items, you get 10% off. So somebody bought the Atlas, and a vintage guitar strap that I had for $14.99. So that gave them $60 off of the book. So they ended up paying $540 for it. Now I have the fourth one listed and I have it listed for $5.99. And I think the last time I looked yesterday, I had two watchers on it. So we'll have to wait and see. By the time I'm done, I could make $2,000, $2,500 on these books. So keep your eye out for Atlas. This particular one is the one I sold. This is the one that was worth so much. And I think mine sold so fast because they were all brand new. And I also think the reason they had so many is that they worked for this company. I don't know for sure, but look at it. it's in excellent new condition. Where the others that are listed and selling for 200 to 250 have major issue conditions. So I think that's why mine just sold so fast. Mine were brand new. And as you can see in the photos that there's an extra box. That was the original packing box. And I think people really liked that too. I had three of them that had the original packing box. And then the last two only have this sleeve, which is excellent too. So keep your eyes open. I keep saying, look at the books. When I go into estate sales, there might be one person besides me looking at books. Everybody else is looking at everything else. And I do too, I look at everything else, but I definitely go for the books if they are looking like something special other than just a bunch of novels. So check out the books. You might be totally surprised. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and giving me a thumbs up if you like it. And please subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified. See you next time.